Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're back with our series of videos in which we're going to be demonstrating and we're going to be explaining the new features included on the latest update from Studio One, which is version 5.4. So today we're going to learn a new feature called Plugin Nap, okay? This is something that I've personally never seen before and I think it's uh, pretty smart from the people at PreSonus that they included this feature. You're going to find it useful if you have, let's say, an older computer and you're trying to squeeze, you know, the the horsepower of your system. Um, or if you have a regular computer and you have, you know, lots of tracks, lots of lots of virtual instruments, plenty of inserts going on. And you want to, um, I guess, find a way to um, manage the horsepower or the performance of your computer in a smarter way. Okay, so how does that work? Well, first of all, this is optional, okay? This is not something that is on, okay? By default, this function is actually off. You, has, you have to turn it on if you want it, uh, if you want to use it. So here, I'm on my mix window or my mix tab. You can see I have only one track. It's an audio track and I have this Empire um, insert engage, which is basically a, a guitar amp emulator, okay? Um, so that's on right now. You can see it's blue there. Okay. Now, where do I engage the plugin nap feature? Well, you go down here where it says performance. If you click there, the performance monitor window will show up. Okay. You can see here I'm using 13% uh, of my CPU resources. You can see here that uh, down here, you can actually see every single insert that I have. And here it says, you know, I have an FX, it's called Empire. It's set as an insert on this path or this track, which is this one that I have down here. Now you can see that Empire, uh, it's consuming 10, 11 of my CPU resources. But hey, let's be honest, right now there's no music playing back. Um, the, you know, the playback is stopped. So there's really no reason for this plugin to be consuming CPU resources if there's no audio passing through it. So basically what the plugin nap does is that while there's no audio passing through, um, or if there's no playback, it'll basically turn off the plugin or bypass it or put in, um, I guess, make it, make it go to, to a little nap, if that makes sense. It'll sleep the plugin so that you can release those CPU resources. How do you do it? Very simple. There's this little option here that says enable plugin nap. If you simply click there, if you see this is going down and eventually, boom, there it is. You see that little moon sign or moon uh, icon? That means that the plugin is in nap right now. Why is it nap? Because it's not being used and it's not being, even though it's it's being used with for the track, there's really no audio passing through it. So it shouldn't be consuming CPU resources. When would you find this helpful? Well, when you have different uh, audio um, clips or audio parts here and there in your track, and if you're playing back audio and the audio is being processed, uh, or it's being processed by the insert, then when that's happening, yeah, the insert is going to be affecting your audio. So yeah, this this will come out or it'll leave the nap, I guess you could say, nap status or nap state. So the audio will pass through that. And then when when you know when the playback passes the area of the actual audio, then it'll go back to nap. So it's kind of like engaging and disengaging the plugin when there is audio and when there isn't. Now, the other cool feature about this is that when he goes from nap to being active, uh, Studio One has improved this so that there's no like clicks and pops, no delay or anything like that going on. So it's very smart. Now, do you want to have this on all the time? Well, once again, as I said, if you have an older system or you work with so many tracks that you actually max your CPU resources, just leave that on and you'll be fine. So that's the plugin nap feature included in Studio One 5.4, uh, the latest update. And you know, that's that's it for today. If you have any other questions, please call us from uh, Obedient PC Audio Labs and we're going to be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. 
Bye bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.